Okay, so I am back for a review. So I went to White Castle and I'm gonna review the two different types of burgers that they have. Now one they've had, I believe, based on the website, I went to the PETA website because this particular one I could not find on the White Castle website. Maybe I overlooked it, but I couldn't find it right away. So I just Googled it and I found this on the PETA website. So there is one that they have that is on, on the menu and it is called the Vegetarian Burger. And this one based on the PETA menu, on the PETA website, it is Dr. It's an actual veggie slider and it's from uh, Dr. Prager Sensible Foods. Now you can find Dr. Prager Foods uh, depending on your region of the, of the woods. You can find it at Kroger, Costco, uh, Meyer, Jewel, Whole Foods for sure, and they are mostly vegetable. Now, all not all vegetarian slash vegan type of uh, foods are created equal, but on this one, it has peas, carrots, zucchini, spinach, broccoli, and this is on the menu for 99 cents. So, um, you know, it looks like a veggie burger. So here you go, and it's like a patty of vegetables kind of put into a vegetable uh, a burger style I have had uh, Prager foods and they're more on the uh, plant-based side of uh, ve vegetarian vegan options now for a lot of people who are vegetarians or vegan that want to still have that meat look and appeal or people who are transitioning from being a meat eater uh, primarily to wanting to do the vegetarian vegan will do what's called TVP, which is textured vegetable protein, otherwise known as fake meats, right? And you can get everything from a veggie burger, a boca burger, to uh, veggie crumbles that resemble sausage or hamburgers. I have used them many times on my family and they did not know I have made spaghetti and made it with the crumbles. When you add all the vegetables and seasonings, it gives you the look and the appeal and the taste of having crumbled up hamburger, but again, no animals were hurt during the making of the meal. So let me just take a bite of this and I'll give you my response. Not bad. It has flavor to it. It's not meant to be a hamburger per se, but as you can see, you can see you're getting your vegetables in. So that's an option. Now the one I was really looking forward to was called the Impossible Burger. Now based on, excuse me, White Castle, they, I did, um, there's different ones that are out right now, but I just did the calories of the one with the small cheddar, the, with the cheddar cheese smoked cheddar cheese and without okay so the servings of the impossible burger with the smoked cheddar cheese is 240 calories 120 fat calories 14 grams of fat 6 grams of saturated fat 720 milligrams of sodium 18 grams of carbs and that's because you're also counting the bread 2 grams of sugar and 11 grams of protein the one I got was the one with no cheese Okay, so let me just show you what this one looks like without the cheese. And as you see, it physically looks like a little burger. Okay? All right, so the nutritional value of the one without cheese is 210 calories, 100 grams of fat, 11 grams of set, I'm sorry, 100 grams of fat calories, 11 grams of uh, fat, zero saturated fats, 550 uh, milligrams of sodium, 17 grams of carbs, one gram of sugar, and nine grams of protein. So I'm gonna do a taste test. I don't have anything on it. Let's taste it. Mm-hmm. They're on to something with this one. Oh, this is really good. This is smoky barbecue. I'm sorry, smoky flavor. This is really good. Thumbs up. So there you have it. They're making more and more options for people who want to either 
not eat as much meat, want to tone down on their meat eating, and for vegetarians and vegans having options. I was a vegetarian um, 20 something years ago and we didn't have these options and I will be honest, oh excuse me, when they came out with these other meat type products they were just downright nasty. So I was a true vegetarian. I didn't eat any of that fake meat stuff. It didn't start to get better until about 10 years ago. So these are options and um, you know I want to dedicate this video to John Singleton, uh, maker of the hit film Boys in the Hood and other great films, and um, who has succumbed to complications of a stroke. And I also read Peebo Bryson, who did the beautiful song Beauty and the Beast, Disney, but is known, who has had heart, has had uh, chart breaking songs love songs he is in the hospital from having a heart attack and he is 60 68 years old we got to take better care of ourselves and the number one way we can do that is through making um, dietary changes so I hope this reaches you in great spirit Hopefully, um, my journey on the detox has given you some ideas or at least given you some reevaluation of how you eat. I know it's done it for me. So take care of yourself and each other, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.